Hello, my fellow YouTubers. This is Roy back again. Welcome to Ed Lead Scallon's workshop. Today we're going to do a little episode on magnetic strength and charging these magnets. Um, these are Model T Ford um, V-shaped magnets that were on their charging system on the 1908 to 19. 12 to 15 maybe around that time the charging system were made out of these magnets. So these are old timers um, These are all set up positive north positive north all the way around uh, You can see on here um, That some of them have lost their polarity uh, It's because I've been changing them. These are very uh, these magnets um, so you guys know uh, they are um, I can reverse the poles on them. Uh, they can both be neutral or they can both be negatives. They can both be positives. It can be positive or negative, negative or positive. The back sides of them are neutrals. And uh, so what I'm doing here is to start off on my new channel here, um, Ed Lee Scallon. We are going to bring up the wheel to have its full potential on positive and negative are going across. Um, let me see over here. I just charged these three groups, and you can see I got a north, south. You can see how quick they turn, so they're very charged and responsive. And in fact, here um, I have a strong magnetic pull, and over here I got barely anything okay and that's one of the reasons like this one's not even holding right no it won't even hold so it's one of the reasons why i'm charging uh, another thing i want to bring up uh, to you guys attention is i wound these here they're the same amount of wire as these um, this pmh uh, has eight ohms so does these each coil is eight ohms um, this one here i spooled with aluminum and I put aluminum tape in the front of these prong ends and I do what I do normally is I hook it up um, to car battery and I play around with uh, the magnetic field and I notice the difference with the aluminum and uh, for starters uh, this PMH would not charge these v-shaped magnets one was because I had aluminum on the front, but I took that off. You can see it's off now and still wouldn't charge. Then I put this back up without the aluminum and it still wouldn't charge. So I looked over to this one, which I haven't done yet and which I'm glad I didn't. I put it over here and I held it up and touched the prong ends, make the connection and it charges charges the v-shaped magnets um so there's something to say about having aluminum another metal in between uh the copper now both of these are conductors now obviously uh copper is a better conductor than aluminum but there's some other properties there that i noticed that's going to come into play down the road when we build this box we're going to uh, have this vision. This box is going to be a foot square box. And it's going to be um, six sides to the box. Each side will be isolated so it's not touching the other panel. Each panel will be isolated. And each panel will be a makeup of a different element. And I'm going to hook each one of those up to a transistor so each side of the box will be hooked up to a transistor and I am going to build a circuit that has a tickler coil or if you want to call it a feedback coil so each time each side of the box varies the other side is going to compensate for it this is going to be my levitation box I'm naming it right now and it's going to be a box that I build, design, put it off to the side. And we're going to try different things in there. And we're going to do 
a lot of research on the elements and with magnetism and we're going to see if we can levitate stuff in in the imaginary levitation box but um back to here uh let's go ahead we'll look at this here uh not anything this here is not anything so it's kind of these two here that's north that's a weak south um very weak so I'm going to come over here, I'm going to put the PMH up tight, close, I'm going to take, I got um, this here, I got set up to two car batteries, positive to the negative, and then coming off each end, the positive and negative over to this guy. So um, this is put, in, this is 8 ohms on each with 24 volts and a lot of amperage. So you're going to see the PMH kick up in the air and you can see the magnetism, the attraction. So you can see it left in what the, the goal is, is to tap it, okay, five, six, seven times. And then I'm going to put a keeper across the top and I can already felt it pulled it out of my hand. And then I'm going to tap it a few more times. And then what I'm going to do is put a keeper, back this out, put a keeper down across the bottom. And that pulled it out of my hand. So that made a strong magnetic field here. Now, um, I guess I'll try to post up some of the videos I've done in the past in regards to the magnetic strength of the, each individual magnet. But if you go back into Ed Lee Scallon's uh, Magnetic Current book, he speaks about the, it's not the importance of the magnetic strength. Uh, it's more important to have the magnetic field. Um, we'll just leave it at that. So lots of things to do. Um, we'll put this inside of this and see if the magnetic flow is turning that. We'll also... Um, uh, because of the aluminum experiment, we got a lot more experiments. We'll take this thyroid from my Tesla coil and we'll put it in the center here along the neutrals. And then we'll put a copper coil in the middle here and we'll see if we could pull the kinetic magnetic force from the zero from the neutral part into the aluminum into the conductor of the core and we'll see if that will help us create a spark gap between the keeper and the outside realm here we'll we'll investigate we'll do different things but uh you guys thank you for watching ed lead scallon's workshop um you guys have questions leave comments man this this is a new channel and it's all about experiments if you got experiments you want me to try with the wheel you got questions, if you're new to Ed Lee Scallon, look up Coral Castle, look up Homestead, Florida, look up Rockgate, look up Magnetism, look up um, Astrology. Ed always seems to appear, puts his finger in everything. But you guys have a good day. Peace out.